S&S gang, we're back to back with another S&S review. I'm Sean. I'm Samantha. And just like Drizzy said, we're back to back to do another. Another review. This time, the Maestro do Bell. This time, the Respisado. <laughs> now, just uh, off the bat, what's your thoughts on the, uh, on the presentation of this one here? Yeah, um, I definitely, not my favorite box, I'm not going to lie. Mm. I still feel like the silver, classic, black and silver is more of a classic look, but I definitely oh, yeah. can tell right off the rip it's going to be a gold. Oh, different, yeah. It looks like a different type of top Pretty as good. well. Yeah, it's got the wood top on this one versus, you know, the uh, little screw top. Yeah, let's go ahead on and uh, break it right on open. Um, I've been excited to do this as well because if you watched the last video, We've had this in the house for about a week and I've been walking past it. I've been like, uh, and now we're gonna go ahead on and break it open. Perfect. We actually never had read the font or read anything on the box. It says, Never conform, a sophisticated offering for those to in the know. Aged in the finest oak barrels, it takes on the essence of some light notes of fruit and a hint of vanilla and almond. Best savored on the rocks or in your favorite cocktail. Recommended to accompany fine cuts of meat. Interesting. Yeah, no, I like this one. The, it definitely is very gold. The font, it's a lot different on this one as well. I do, I don't mind the wood top. I haven't tried the Resposado, but I've definitely tried the Anejo. And for some reason, I skipped right over the Resposado, maybe because I had so many in the, in the chamber. But uh, I'm super excited to try this one out, like I said. So, I mean... Should I do the honors or do you want to do the honors? You can definitely do the honors. Oh yeah, go ahead and take the, take the cap. The rest of it. They don't want you to drink it. They don't want you to. Mm. Initial smell. And, uh, pour it up and, and smell it in here. It smells fruity, like it says for sure. I definitely can smell that. Mm, a little swig over here. It's super sweet, fruity smell, like it says for sure. I definitely smell like caramel in there, mm -hmm. vanilla. I'm getting a little uh, oak. Um, of course, a guava. I'm almost getting like a, a honey smell. Don't, don't you know, laugh at me or anything. But like, are, are, are you kind of getting like a light, like almost honey smell? I'm kind of thinking this is gonna be a, a very sweet one. I'm getting like uh, cinnamon. Yeah, light cinnamon, even like a little pepper. But I haven't even tasted it yet. So let's go ahead on and link them. I'm not gonna um, lie. These smell drink. butter. Um, I, I mean, I know it looked like butterscotch, but go ahead on and link them. And let's <laughs> drink them. It's I mean, smooth and sweet, honey, this, honey, honey, right after it. This, this one's definitely even sweeter than the uh, the dynamite, or sorry. This, this one, is so sweet. It's yeah, like, this one's it's, it's a lot it's sweeter honey. than the uh, the butterscotch. Milk. Butterscotch. I taste butterscotch. Hmm. Mm. Try it. It's still on my tongue, but it's like yeah, almost like a light butterscotch. I do like how it finishes at the end. You get a light pepper taste to it. <laughs> Um, definitely caramel for sure, vanilla for sure, honey. This is definitely honey. Yeah, that's they should just call it honey. I'm, I'm loving this one, and um, it's sweet. I'm I'm loving this one. It's definitely a a middle point between the diamond and the anejo, as you would expect. The anejo, it's it's quite a bit rougher. This one is it's smooth, and I like how it it settles down. I'm kind of you know. You know what this would be perfect with, babe? What would be perfect with? You know, like when it's winter, we're in Minnesota, so it's a pretty cold state. So in like the winter, I would say about like December, around like 30 degrees, maybe pour this in your little tea, or get a little peach tea hmm. with that honey. It would taste super bomb because it kind of warms you up. Yeah, it's a nice warming feel. Let's go ahead on and break out the ice and try it on the, on the rocks and see if we can get some more flavors out of this thing. Yeah, no, uh, 
I love him. I'm, I'm a fan of him. You know, it's a good medium point. If you were new to tequila, I definitely wouldn't jump straight on into the Anejos unless, unless you really like whiskeys or bourbons. You know, they're generally aged in whiskey or bourbon barrels. So, did you, did you already get it? O over the ice, you know what? Savored over that, the ice, best. That that butter taste kind of come out a little more with yeah. the ice. And, Definitely uh, way more butterscotch. Yeah, and that's how I, yeah, the butterscotch kind of maybe because of that honey taste mm -hmm. and then like the butter taste. It's almost like a light butterscotch. This I is great. Fan. This is great. This is super sweet. This is not what I expected. Mm. I'm not going to lie. When I first looked at it, I'm like, it's about to taste nasty. I could just opt a rip. Big old but, man, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> big is, old man drink. But no, nah, this one here, this is so bell. definitely going to be picking this Send one up again. Send me a bottle. <laughs> you know I mean? You see, we've been supporting the campaign. You need, that one type gone. You know what I mean? And then we had to go restock up on a brand new bottle. I'm loving it that much. This mm. is amazing. I don't want to speak too soon, but this might be my favorite one. I like how sweet it is. Wow. Even over the done. It might. Wow. And I was not expecting that. I was not, I was expecting, not expecting that. I was not expecting that for sure. I was not expecting that either, but... No, that's good to hear. I, I, I love it. This out, of, out of the Resposados that I've tried, it's up there. Uh, I wouldn't say it's my favorite, but it's, it's definitely up there for sure. I mean, maybe I got to sip on it a little more. Um, but so, off the bat, oh my gosh, I love if, it. if you want to go ahead on and uh, give it a rating on... I would give know. it a rating on five, a five. I would give it a five. A five. Wow. Must keep stock at home for sure. Wow. Um, the taste five is sweet. Mm -hmm. It's savory. Yeah. It's I still taste it in my mouth. Like mm -hmm. I drank it maybe a minute ago, and I still can. It's the savory flavors linger in your tongue. This resposado it almost reminds me of the Avion one. If you've had that, and we've had that, we have it in the chamber here somewhere, and you guys will see a review on that here pretty soon. But this is probably the only the the closest thing I could compare that to is the Avion Resposado. You know what? I would rate it a five on Jungfus because I'm feeling really Yeah, good. I mean, we just had the, the half of the shot here and then a little pour in here and drunkenness level so far, it's up there. I'm feeling, I'm feeling buzzed. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and while we're talking about drunkenness level, oh yeah, I'm starting to feel you. you see yeah, the word see. starting to feel tight. <laughs> while we're talking about the drunkenness level, uh, let's go ahead on and dive into price. How much did we pay for this? Here? Like 42, 43? 43 bucks, I think, at our local Total Wine. Um, we keep showing out, shouting out Total Wine, but... Total Wine. Yeah. You're next, because those rewards this, ain't enough. This is not a paid promotion. <laughs> we love Total Wine. I, I know they kind of step on like some of the smaller guys, and it's kind of unfortunate, but you just can't beat their prices. I, I generally like to support locally and, you know, but at the same time, you just can't beat those prices at Total Wine. And like, they have so much variety. A big selection. Let's go ahead on and get back into our review over here. I think we need to go ahead on and finish this to the neck and then pour up a margarita of it. I'm about to be lit. So lit. So I'm already <laughs> kind of getting there. Getting there. All right. Go ahead and mix it up. About to mix it up, of course, with some of our favorites, Mr. and Mr. T. You know what I mean? Mr. and Mrs. T. You know what I mean? Mr. and Mrs. T. You know what I mean? Come on, man. We got in every goddamn video, man. Right. And then, of course, you know what I mean? We just going to throw a little bit of spice on there. I like mine a little spicy tight. We should just make our own. Oh, yeah. We, we generally like to make our own uh, simple syrups. You remember the ones that we tried with the cucumber, yeah. uh, jalapeno, rosemary? That was delicious. That was super You, you kind of didn't finish that. Go ahead and finish that up. That's why you be when we go out. You know, finish your drink. I mean, of course, if you're going out and you're paying for drinks, I don't know. Maybe tight enough to put. Let's be 100% honest, man. You better. I don't think I'm going to that jacket. Ever. They're taxing at the club, like. Alright, we're going to... Uh, yeah. A little bit of salt? I'm shocked. I'm just, like, so baffled. Yeah, I'm shocked. I'm shocked that you like it. I knew that I would like the, uh, the, the Resposado going into it. I didn't expect it to be this great, right? Because I did try the uh, the Anejo. The Anejo, it's... it's we're gonna get into Woo! that into the yeah, next, next review, review, so definitely uh, 
go ahead Let's on and tune into that. It. But, you know, I'm not even going to give you an answer on that right now. I mean, got to keep y'all coming back. Of course, if I ain't say it already, go ahead and make sure you hit that like button. Go ahead and make sure you hit that subscribe button and even the bell button. We're doing this every Tuesday, Thursday. It's going to help out because you know when you do the mathematics type on these bottles, boop, 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 it's, it adds up pretty quickly. So I would appreciate that if y'all would support the campaign. Subscribe. Yeah, that would be the best way. Uh, I'm going to go ahead on with my set in there for a little bit. Yeah. I'm excited. Yeah. I think the margarita uh, mix, this should be great. I mean, everything else so far has been great. You never said your ratings. What would you rate so far? Oh, yeah. I definitely got to give it a five out of five for taste. Oh, yes. When it comes to the subject of drunkenness, I would definitely give it a five as well. Like, I, I've probably not even had a double so far, and I'm, I'm feeling it. Let's be honest. So let's go ahead on and uh, let them in, and drink these. <laughs> I always miss out on the comments out <laughs> Don't, don't kill me in the comments, man. Mm. It's good. Yeah. Yeah, the box is right. Dobell definitely predicted it. Because what does it say right here? Best savored on the rocks. Was it not best on the rocks? Uh, yeah, for sure. I definitely thought that it was best on the rocks. The The margarita so far, it's, it's not bad, to be honest. But yeah, so far, the best was on the rocks. And uh, I think it was pretty smooth just because... Uh, I didn't even mention this in, in the beginning, but this is two times distilled. And of course they do age these for six months in American oak barrels. So yeah, it's, it's, it's delicious. If, if you're a fan of, um, you know, like whiskeys and, you know, very light ones, of course you're going to get that aguave taste through it. But I would definitely try this one out. This is definitely the drink Shoot. if you're trying to have something. Oh, I think we got to blur that out tight. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Tequila is definitely a natural stimulant. At the same time, you tight. You got to keep it PG-13. We ain't kept it PG-13. No, I mean, let's be honest. Do you remember the time where we decided to only drink tequila? Yeah, that was like a year ago in the summer. Yeah, maybe like a year, a year and a half ago or so. I would say like what? May or June 2018. Yeah, do you remember the exact moment or? Yeah, no, we were definitely in Total Wine. Uh -huh. And I was going, to, I was a Ciroc girl. So I was definitely going to go get some Ciroc. Mm -hmm. Wait, I think we actually had some Ciroc, honestly, let's be real. I mean, we I still, still, we still, we still do that as well. Diddy. Come on, we, send we me still the do cognacs as well and stuff like that. And then Sean was just like, you know what? From this day forward, I feel like we need to move on to tequila. We haven't tried it. Mm -hmm. And like, I feel like. Every time I get tequila, I'm the drunkest, and I have more of a fun vibe, and it's just the yeah. right move. And, and then, I never, and I never wake up with a hangover whenever I drink tequila. I notice. That's know, true. Back to the whole, you know, sexual type thing, We're trying to keep it PG, but um, it's it's actually like a natural stimulant, you know, like you drinking whiskey, they gotta think whiskey, you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, I'll drink this and I'll be fine. You know what I mean? Go to town after. I'm definitely. I don't know if I can even finish my drink because. Yeah, it's like, I'm, 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 I'm pretty drunk. To... And with vodka, drinking vodka so much, it's Shoot. like, I normally have to drink like maybe six, seven, eight shots, and then I'm up there. But like with tequila, especially with fine tequila, like the ones that you right off the rip like this. Yeah. One, one and a half shot, I would say. Mm -hmm. That's all I need. Yeah. Well, I say uh, we about to go ahead on and wrap this review up. Make sure you guys definitely tune in next week. Where we're gonna, of course, do the. You see?